Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, the project that we are going to work on today I wanted to make it already for a very 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 long time really since the beginning of my channel and yes, we are going to make a Medusa doll you could see it of course already from the thumbnail and from the title of this video it's the one from the Greek mythology the monster woman with the snake hair the one of the Gorgons and yeah, it's quite normal that I wanted to make her for a long time because this is a pretty iconic character with very iconic features so it would be very interesting to make a doll like this but unfortunately I didn't really have a very clear vision how my Medusa supposed to look that's why I waited with this project for such a long time but now I think I've got it I think I've got a very nice idea how to make it how my Medusa supposed to look so let's start working because we have extremely lot of work today and this is going to be a big and very exciting project. And this is actually not the only exciting thing in this video, I have another good news to share because this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Really, I'm so excited about this sponsorship because Skillshare is really my favorite online learning community. But I will tell you a little bit more about our sponsor later in this video. And right now, guys, let's start working. But please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and of course, support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And now, let's start working. I will use this Monster High doll as a model today and this is probably just an ideal doll for our project because this is actually Monster High version of Medusa. See, she has the snakes instead of her hair plus all the snake skin. I kept this doll for a very long time, really like for years for a project like this and now it's finally her time. So now let's quickly prepare her for a makeover and it's going to be very easy today because this is a doll from a Make a Monster set and it means all her joints are very easy to disconnect and we don't even have to warm her head up because there is no actual pack inside of the neck plus there is no hair to cut and pluck so we just have to remove the outfit, remove her makeup with pure acetone and then we can start sealing her with Mr. Super Clear. When the face is sealed, I start sketching her face using watercolor pencils and after this we will work on the skin tone. And actually, this is the first time I'm making a doll with green skin. I don't know, it's difficult to believe, but I really don't remember using green pastels for making doll skin before. I remember blue and purple dolls, I remember some pink dolls, but no green dolls in more than four years. I don't know, I've become even more excited about this project when I realized it, because there are still a lot of things to discover and to try for me, it seems. I want to give her super dramatic smoky eyes and for this I will use pencils in combination with pastels. The lips will be black today and it will look very pretty next to her hair that we still have to make but in my head it already looks very good, the black lips together with her hair. And I want to give her yellow snake eyes.
So I think I'm done with the face and now let's take a look at her body. The color difference is not that big today, but we still have to make it exactly the same color like the face. So now I will send the body with nail buffers to make it matte. Then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear to make it even more matte. And then I will cover it with the same green pastels like we've just used on her face. Okay, the face and the body look good together and now I want to start working on her legendary snake hair. And actually I've been busy here already for three full days printing snakes with my 3D printer till 6 a.m. every day. And look what a beautiful pile of snakes I've got as a result. Really, it was, it was a huge job, I can tell you honestly. And now we need to disconnect them from the platforms. Then we'll give all these snakes a good acetone bath, cure them, and then we'll continue. And while I'm giving the snakes a good acetone bath, please let me tell you more about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. And honestly, I just couldn't dream about a better sponsor for my channel, for my type of content, because I am myself a long-time member of this online learning community. And I honestly think that it might be interesting and useful for many of you, because I know that people who are watching my videos are mostly creative and curious people, and on Skillshare you can find really thousands and thousands and thousands of classes on numerous topics and it's not just about, I don't know, painting or drawing or doll making. They have classes on photography, creative writing, animation, film and video production, marketing, I don't know, web development. It's just impossible to name all the topics, so I think literally every single creative person can find multiple classes on Skillshare to explore some new skills, to learn some secret tricks from professionals to deepen already existing passions and this platform is also perfectly curated for learning because there are no ads and most classes are under 60 minutes split it into short lessons to fit any schedule and for me personally taking a class on Skillshare often helps to refresh my mind to refresh my creative vision and to avoid the creative block in some way because you're sort of looking with another person's eyes on certain topic while following the class. For example, just a couple of days ago I came across this class called Video for Instagram, tell an engaging story in less than a minute, created by Holiz Narvaez. And it appeared to be a very useful and inspiring one for me personally, because I don't really feel inspired lately to post into my Instagram. You have noticed it already, <laughs> probably. I don't know, I kind of lost a feeling of it. I don't know what to upload to make it more than just a bunch of work in progress pictures. I have reached a real creative block in it. And this class appeared to be very helpful in this situation because Holis Narvaez is a digital storyteller, she is a professional video producer, and she is also a YouTuber. And in this class, she explains how to turn your daily routine, something that seems boring even for yourself, into short but very artistic and engaging videos. And the same ideas actually can be used not just on Instagram, but on all other social media platforms like, I don't know, TikTok or Facebook, where you can tell your story in a short video format. And the main thing that I've learned and that I really want to try to implement into my social media life 
is showing my routine from a different perspective. And this is already a huge step out of a creative block. So I think Skillshare absolutely worth of their fee of less than what $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can check it all yourself and explore your creativity and fun fact this is by the way exactly how I have discovered Skillshare years ago somebody on YouTube I don't even remember who it was yeah, somebody, some YouTuber was also collaborating with Skillshare and they also were giving away this uh, free trial premium membership. So I grabbed one, I tried it, I loved it and I stayed there for years. So please grab your free membership in the description box under this video and I will go back to my snakes. So, and here is my pile of snail looking snakes and now we will make some big, big, big hair out of them. I have here an original Monster High wig with a cap made especially for this type of doll. So, let's try it on and see how it fits. Yeah, this pin holds the wig perfectly on its place. So, now I think I will remove the hair and I will attach the snakes to this original wig cap. But first I still want to cover the cap with a layer of sticky warbler because if I start gluing the snakes straight to the rubber cap they might eventually fall off and sticky warbler will keep it all in place. And then I connect all the snakes to the cap using hot glue. I want to give her really super big hair. She's supposed to look like, I don't know, like some real rock star or like a Hollywood movie star attending Oscars. So we will need really a lot of snakes today.
And this is where I've ended up with her hair and it looks absolutely fantastic, really, what a beautiful wig. And you cannot believe it, I really used all the snakes I had printed. All this huge pile of snakes is now sitting on her head, really phenomenal. So now let's paint it with acrylics and then I will move on to her outfit. On top of the layer of black acrylics, I will apply a layer of these special green iridescent ones. This paint looks extremely pretty on a black background. Voila guys, we've made absolutely epic hair today I think and now it's time to make also an epic outfit and very very epic accessories. And for the outfit I will use this gorgeous taffeta fabric, it has a very pretty golden green color, this very pretty shift and I think it will look very pretty on our Medusa doll so I will start with making a crop top. First, I make a strap under her breasts and I attach velcro to the ends of it. Then I take two bigger pieces of this fabric, I gather two sides of them and then I will attach them to the strap on her torso, making some sort of sleeves. And this is it, looks pretty, the sleeves and the neckline are just perfect. So now let's make a skirt and I want it to be short on the front and much longer like a tail on the back. So you can see I've already cut out this fabric and I turned in the bottom of the future skirt. So now let's also work on the waistline and then we will fold and gather the skirt. So this is what I've made so far, it looks good but it's not epic yet and to make it really epic, as epic as her hair, I want to fold and gather this fabric and fix it together trying to make this tail of the skirt very, I know, kind of curvy and wavy like her hair.
Well, it was a little bit difficult to film this process, but this is where I've ended up and now it looks really super extra, like a long curly tail made out of some green gold, really super pretty. So now I still want to make a belt to complete the outfit and I will use of course my Warbler thermoplastic for it. I have here this last snake head left after making the wig. So now I want to make the body for it out of a sticky warbler. And then this new snake I will attach to the belt. So this is how it looks, now let's paint it with acrylics, protect the surface with glossy varnish and then we can move on to the next step. I want to make really quickly a snake necklace for her and for this I will use an original Monster High necklace I will just cut off the decoration hanging on the chain, leaving just the chain and to this chain I will glue a tiny snake and I will color it with acrylics of course So this is her snake necklace and now let's make the shoes and actually I want to complete her look with very tall leather looking sock boots because all this golden shine and all these extra shapes they require some more solid detail in the middle. So I start with sewing long socks out of this leather looking fabric. So here are the socks and now let's take this pair of shoes that this doll wore at the beginning of this video and let's cut off these straps on the top, leaving just the soles of the shoes. And now these soles we will attach to the socks. Then I will paint the soles with black acrylics and afterwards we will decorate them with golden chains.
Voila, the boots are finished and they look absolutely fantastic, I think. We're almost done, guys. But now I still want to make a pair of wings for her because in ancient Greece, Medusa was actually a winged lady. We remember mostly just the snakes nowadays, but she has wings as well, as you can see it now on these original artworks. So I will try to make a pair of wings out of warbler. I will simply cut straps out of it and connect them together in a wing shape. So this is what I've got and it doesn't look bad at all. Now let's make the pins that will attach the wings to the back of the doll and then we can paint the doll with acrylics. Okay, here are the wings, they look super pretty and they really fit the style of the project. So now let's still attach fuzz lashes to the doll's face, apply some glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is my version of the legendary Medusa and you cannot even imagine how proud I am about her wig, about her snake hair. It looks so pretty and also so unique, at least for me, for my style. I just can't get enough of it. It was really a big job to make it. I still have nightmares about the 72 hours of non-stop 3D printing. But when I see the end result now, I think I'm ready to forget the pain because these snakes look just phenomenal on her head. Her face is also channeling the evil queen energy, the black lips work perfectly together with her hair, like I planned earlier when I worked on her face, and her purple eyeshadows and arched eyebrows serve you the extra evil vibes. The wings also look very good, I was a little bit worried about them in the beginning, I wasn't sure how they would look together with the wig and with the dress, but it all looks absolutely great together, so I'm happy and I hope you also feel satisfied with the end result of this transformation today because many of you have asked me to make a Medusa doll so please let me know if this doll fulfills your expectations.
And now I want to ask you who should be the next mythic creatures for me to make in a doll form on this channel. Is there someone special I should make? Please write your ideas in the comments under this video. And this Medusa doll is right now for sale on eBay like all us for three days. So please check out the link in the description box if this doll is something that you need in your life. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. Normally, the next one will be in two weeks. I've just started the new project and I need still more time to work on it. So, it will be in two weeks. But anyway, hit the bell button to get notified. Yeah, subscribe, have I said everything? I don't know, so hit all the buttons and I will see you in two weeks. Have a nice weekend, love you guys, bye!